When do you think we'll discover aliens? You know, they may already be here. <laughs> That is the biggest hole saw I have ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it's by far the biggest I've ever used. So for the ERB, mounting it was a lot more challenging, not challenging, just more difficult than uh, the bathroom fans. The reason why is because the way they have it, they want you to mount it is you have a traditional brackets like you would a standard bath fan on one side and then the other side it has like a leg with a physical solid uh, mounting point on the other, so it's like, it's kind of weird. Uh, when your joists are two foot on center, like ours are, you have to make like this header and all this. So I didn't want to have to do that. I just threw in two more joists and that's that. <laughs> We're just getting ready to carve our pumpkins that we got the other day, which I'm really excited about because we have not done this since we first started dating. So a long time ago, <laughs> it's been a while. And yeah, this will be our first time carving pumpkins as a family. So being that we don't have everything from our kitchen unpacked and we're not able to use all that stuff, we don't have any bowls or anything. So all I have is this small pot <laughs> Do you think it's gonna fit? No, we're gonna need something else, right? Yeah, like a five gallon bucket. Wait. Spencer, not a five gallon bucket. Yeah. I don't think we have five gallons of pumpkin guts. <laughs> My pumpkin is complete and it is a masterpiece. Oh my God. I got it. I have the perfect finishing touch for my pumpkin. It's going to take it to the next level. 
Babe, shut your eyes. Don't look, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, look. So much better. <laughs> I know, baby. Are you are you seriously tracing it out? Tracing would be I lay something on it. Okay, you know what I'm saying. You're gonna sketch it out first. Yeah. You, you just gotta go for it with the knife. A uh, tattoo artist will hold <laughs> on first, and then. <gasps> Mine <laughs> looks ridiculous. Yours looks really good. So last night I was able to get finish up the uh, ERV install. I Got the vent all attached, the wiring uh, all run. I just gotta pull some slack out of the wiring and then uh, and throw some insulation around the uh, the vents, but we're good to go. Spencer, does, uh, <laughs> does your jumpsuit kind of go up your kazoo too? <laughs> yes. I cannot bend over. <laughs> Lift off in three, two. <laughs> All right, I have a question for you. What's up? When do you think we'll discover aliens? Microbial life, we'll probably discover that in our lifetime. Uh, but intelligent life, it's out there somewhere, but uh, I don't think in our lifetime. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think we'll find them sooner rather than later. If we haven't found anything yet, I highly doubt we'll find anything in the near future. Maybe when we launch the James Webb telescope, we might see something in the far distance of like some sort of intelligent civilization, but uh, that's the only hopes. I don't know. I disagree. You know, they may already be here.
<laughs> I believe my daughter had an altercation with somebody here. Some fancy gentleman with a squeaky voice. I think you guys might have the wrong office. That's him. I don't know why we always think that this is a good idea and then we get into it and it's just never, it's never good. We're too awkward. <laughs> and I'm sitting in a barn right now with Christmas lights on eating stuffed peppers. Yeah. And am I watching this? Yes, yes you are. You are. <laughs> Man, this coffee is so good. Today is very exciting because now that the ERV is all done, the real prep work begins for finishing everything up inside of the walls because we have this small to-do list of things that need to be done in order to spray foam and do drywall and all that stuff like blocking, for example. So we're going to start that stuff today. But first, I have one more costume that I'm gonna put on and Spencer hasn't seen this one and he's gonna be wearing something that I haven't seen. So I'm pretty excited and I have very high expectations for his costume because mine's pretty darn legit. Are you kidding me? It goes with my costume from before. You don't want to talk to strangers. Okay. <sighs> alien. You look so pretty. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't get a real costume. This is, this is part of my costume. Do you see me? I don't think I've ever looked this legit in a costume ever. You know what this kind of makes me want to do though? What's that? Wait. We, Bo and I should read a story. I love you, Mommy. When we have a day for you and me, no matter where we go that day, is where I want to be. So one of the things I have to do to, in order to prep for spray foam is uh, all the uh, ventilation, whether it be plumbing ventilation or uh, bathroom fan or the ERV or whatever is, um, and the kitchen vent, is I have to uh, not only just tape around the openings, see what I've kind of done right there, I've just taken some zip tape, kind of taped around it, just to help fill in some of that gap because it's a square hole with a cylindrical uh, pipe going through it. So there's obviously a gap around it. So what I'm doing is just taping that, that gap just so whenever we do have it spray foamed, it has something to stick to and doesn't go up into that, uh, that roof space up there. So uh, I'm working on that. And also with these vents, at least the bathroom vents and the um, kitchen vent, I have to insulate around those pipes where they go, th where they exit the shipping tanner roof, but before they get to the actual roof roof. Uh, the reason why I need to insulate those pipes is condensation. So whenever the warm air exits from, uh, from the bathrooms and whatnot, as soon as it hits that cool uh, space in between the roof, the two roofs, it can cause condensation. So I don't want that to happen because that's how you get spots on your uh, drywall right around the bathroom fan and all that stuff. So for that, all I'm going to do is just stuff some rock wool uh, all around the vents. So that should be okay for that. But yeah, so let me uh, get to work. You're so cute. Why? Because you, <laughs> you go so in depth. People I, like it though. It's good. Yeah, I know. I, I kind of get off onto a rant. I'm like, oh, this is valuable information. And then <laughs> next thing you know, I'm ranting about <laughs> condensation. Uh, yeah, whatever. I was looking for adventure. 
You were looking for a home I was buried in the trenches You were already gone Oh, 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 already gone I was fighting to forget it You were on the line I don't know if you regret it my sweet boy. <laughs> run, 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 running out of time. I know I never asked you exactly what you want. Too busy looking in the mirror. I missed the point. I, 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 I missed the point. out here at night is just the coolest thing because whenever you turn the flashlight out because of the moon you can see the outline of all the trees and the longer you're out here the more stars you can see and it is just so neat but a rabbit did just run by me and scared the out of me <laughs> The next day we continued blocking and we're just focusing on knocking off as many things on our to-do list as possible. We have a bunch of small tasks to complete, but before we know it, our seemingly never-ending lists will be done and we'll be sleeping inside our cozy home. Until then, we're just taking in the beautiful scenery and enjoying the change of the season. Happy Halloween and hopefully the off-grid flasher doesn't get you. I need to tell you something, okay? I am super impressed with that. Whenever you were yelling, Ken's, Ken's, I really thought like, does he want me to come back? I was like, wait, is this real or, or is he just acting? I want to be nominated for an Oscar. <laughs> I can't do it with the teeth. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Do it, do it without so the teeth. Do it without the teeth. Um, I had to run through the yard screaming. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this beats up. Why is your lipstick not in the middle like she does? What do you mean? It's all over your lips, like normal. Am I supposed to put it on my lips? No, you're supposed to put it in the middle. Yeah. Does that look better? 